The Leatherwood God by William Dean Howells is a profound exploration of religious fervor, the nature of belief, and the susceptibility of human nature to charlatanism. Published in 1916, this novel delves into the historical account of Joseph C. Dylks, a charismatic figure who proclaimed himself a divine entity in the early 19th century in the small town of Leatherwood, Ohio. Through this narrative, Howells intricately dissects the dynamics of a community enthralled by the promise of salvation and the ensuing consequences of blind faith. Howells' portrayal of Dylks as the Leatherwood God is a critical examination of the power and influence wielded by religious leaders over their followers. Dylks arrives in Leatherwood and quickly captivates the townsfolk with his purported miracles and divine proclamations. Howell's depiction of Dylks is not merely that of a cunning fraud, rather, he presents a complex character whose genuine belief in his own divinity oscillates between sincerity and madness. This ambiguity challenges readers to consider the fine line between true faith and delusion, as well as the ethics of leadership and the impact of charisma on communal belief systems. The townspeople's reaction to Dylks further amplifies the novel's central themes. Howells captures the diverse spectrum of human response to extraordinary claims, from fervent devotion to skeptical resistance. Characters such as Abel Reverdy and his wife exemplify the unquestioning faith that Dylks inspires, while others, like Squire Braille, represent the voice of reason and skepticism. This dichotomy serves to highlight the tension between rationality and faith, a recurrent theme in Howells' work. Through these interactions, Howells critiques the often uncritical acceptance of religious authority and the ease with which people can be manipulated by charismatic figures promising hope and salvation. Moreover, The Leatherwood God is a commentary on the broader societal implications of such movements. Howells uses the microcosm of Leatherwood to reflect on the vulnerabilities of American society during periods of religious and social upheaval. The novel suggests that the allure of a messianic figure like Dylks arises from a collective yearning for meaning and direction amidst uncertainty. This is particularly relevant in the context of early 19th century America, a time rife with religious revivals and the formation of new sections. Howell's narrative thus resonates with the historical phenomenon of the Second Great Awakening, drawing parallels between Dylks following and the larger religious fervor of the era. Howell's narrative style is marked by a keen observational eye and a subtle, yet incisive, critique of human nature. His prose is rich with irony and a sense of impending tragedy, underscoring the inevitable downfall of Dylks and the disillusionment of his followers. The novel's denouement, where Dylks is exposed and ultimately flees, leaving his followers to grapple with their shattered beliefs, serves as a poignant commentary on the ephemeral nature of such movements and the enduring impact on the community. The Leatherwood God also delves into the personal struggles of its characters, particularly those who come to question their faith in Dylks. Howells captures the inner turmoil of individuals like David Gillespie, who oscillates between belief and doubt, reflecting the broader existential struggle faced by the community. This internal conflict adds depth to the narrative, transforming it from a simple tale of deception into a profound exploration of faith, identity, and the human condition. In conclusion, William Dean Howells' The Leatherwood God is a masterful examination of the complexities of belief and the influence of charismatic leaders. Through the story of Joseph C. Dylks and the community of Leatherwood, Howells critiques the susceptibility of human nature to manipulation, the tension between faith and reason, and the societal implications of religious fervor. The novel remains a poignant and relevant exploration of these themes, offering insights into the perennial human quest for meaning and the dangers inherent in the uncritical acceptance of authority.